Hey guys, welcome on in Kiros here. Today I want to show you how to build essentially every single team comp. Now, I'm not really going to be whaling in this game, or I'm not right now. I'm pretty much free to play. So I've been able to clear everything with this specific team comp right here. I can make every team comp work because I've played through every closed beta and every alpha test at this point. So I'm going to go over to the website. I'm going to show you how to build every team of every character you may have pulled, or at least the five stars. And we're going to work around that. If you guys can't hit that like and subscribe, let's go. All right, guys, welcome on in. Let's go ahead and kick it off. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with the person that I pulled the first, which is Japard. Japard is absolutely amazing. He has uh, frost-based damage that he can do on his skill. He can attack with frost-based damage. You're not going to use the skill very often, in all honesty. You're really just going to use him for his ultimate, which, imply, which applies a huge, massive shield. So good that you may not even be a healer. I don't even run a healer right now if you've been watching any of my live streams. So with Japard, and a lot of these are going to be placeholders, so you know, I am running Don Hung, I'm running Shu Shang, and I'm running any other kind of support uh, like Asta. This is the team I run right here. Now, is this free to play friendly? You may not have Shu Shang. So once again, plug in whoever you want there. You might be able to put Serval in there. This would be the most free to play friendly team that you could do here. Um, it, the reason why I like running Asta with Japard is because Japard goes really slow. 6.9 actions per battle is really, really bad. So you need to get him to go as fast as possible. So he has his ultimate up as quickly as possible so you you kind of want to put speed boots on them but that's for a different conversation when we deep dive these characters when we get the gear which isn't until like level uh until like tl like 40 i swear right so it's going to be a while don't worry about too much about that but you can build this team any way you want you could hyper dps it with uh ting yun and you can throw in some more uh aoe uh support outside the survival if you wanted to put someone like herda i wouldn't suggest leveling herda in my opinion I would probably do like something like Pela if you have it. I do want to point out that you can do the physical trailblazer as well, but I'm not a big fan of the physical trailblazer and I'm you're not going to see it very often in these team comps because unfortunately the physical trailblazer does get benched by itself when it becomes the fire trailblazer and that's for a later on when we're building. Now Clara is actually really really good but once again really really slow. Now she's got a unique mechanic where essentially she wants to be hit so that her Svarog can do different countering, put marks on the enemy, and then when she skills, that mark does extra damage that she can do on top of that. She becomes even more powerful at E1 as well, but you need the enemies to sort of attack her, and she has defensive abilities, so she kind of is like a main DPS with a tank at the same time. So unfortunately, if you did pull Clara, you do have to run March 7th almost like clockwork. Now, the reason why you do that is when you put a shield on Clara from March 7th, you're essentially going to make the enemies be provoked onto Clara. Um, so she's more often to get hit. So that's the that's the juggle you run with it. But it's also really good because March 7th supplies a lot of AoE and a lot of uh, not DPS AoE, but a lot of frost damage AoE where you can control the battlefield. Now for Clara, I definitely want to run a healer here, even if you have a shielder, because it's not guaranteed that she's going to be able to provoke or take all that damage. You definitely want to have some healing here as well. And then we also want to have some uh, AoE DPS. So I would plug in either Pela or Serval here, and that's going to help you out a ton in order to uh, progress your damage. And this is going to be a very, very uh, solid comp across the board. Now you can run double DPS with Don Hung, and there's nothing wrong with this combination as well. It really just depends on if you need AoE. Or if you don't need AOE. Next up, we got Bailu. Now, I saw a lot of people that said, hey, oh my God, I pulled Bailu. Is that, yeah, did I get the worst reroll ever? Bailu is amazing. One of the best healers in the game. Also, the only healer that can res at E0, which is absolutely cracked. Uh, so, what I really like about Bailu is that she opens the gambit for you to do anything with your team comps. And I'm just going to take some other characters here across the board. If I wanted to take Xu Shang, I can. If I wanted to take Don Hung, which is kind of what I would run here. I can, and then I would run maybe Fire Trailblazer. Bam, double DPS, healer, shielder, done. Such a good spread. You got fire, you got wind, you got physical, you've got uh, thunder. Absolutely critical team. I love this team comp right here. You can sub out Don Hung uh, or Shu Sheng for, uh, you know, you can put Sampo in there, you could put Pela in there, you could put any combination, you put Asta in there, you could put any combination you want here. You could also go hyper carry and put Ting Yun in here, take out Asta, put maybe your, uh, put your shielder back here. Absolutely great. You could do everything with her. 
But I do highly suggest that if you do have Bailu, that you're focusing on Xu Shang or you're focusing on Don Hung as your primary damage dealer. Otherwise, it's going to feel a little bad to you. Next up, we have Himiko. Now, I love Himiko. So much AoE. She gets an extra attack after her enemy's shields have been broken three times. She's not the greatest in boss battling, but she's great at just clearing the board. And sometimes that's all you need. You need someone to clear the board just so you can attack. So Himiko, even though is listed as a main damage dealer, she's more of an AoE damage dealer. So I would really kind of put her as main sub DPS. You still need a main damage dealer. And that's where you're going to put Don Hung again. Don Hung is really going to bring that boss killing damage and that immediate oomph that you need. Now you can sub out Don Hung once again for Shu Sheng. I'm going to go back and forth between these two. If you have Shu Sheng, please use Shu Sheng. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely cracked. But Don Hung hits like a Mack truck as well. So I'm going to leave him there for right now. And then we are going to put Natasha in there because you will need some healing on this team comp. And just to make sure that we have a really nice spread of damage here, we're probably going to swing in uh, the physical or the fire trailblazer. Uh, now, I don't like running double fire. Double fire is not really going to help you in the first world. But if you have fire trailblazer, it's going to be the second world anyways. Now, you could also do March 7th. And honestly, this is actually kind of fun. If you do March 7th as a tank, yes, you heard me right. Make her as a tank. Build her up very tanky. Put the shield on yourself so you're taunted. She can actually take a lot of the mitigation out of your team so it's not hitting the rest of the team. So, um, And then it should build up her uh, freeze, and the freeze is going to go really well with doing more AoE. It's actually a pretty cool comp, in my opinion. All right, next up, we're going to cover Welt. Now, Welt is kind of at the bottom of the barrel, but he did get some buffs. And honestly, I just love his play style. I love his actions. He has uh, actions that do AoE across the board, make it so that enemies take more damage, and tries to control the battlefield. Now, you could, you do see he's listed as a sub DPS, so you are going to need the main DPS. We're going to put Don Hung back in there. We're going to put Xu Shang back in there as one or another. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter which one here because of the elemental synergy that we have. The combo I like to run here is actually running March 7th with the, the Fire Trailblazer. I really like this combination. One, you have great synergy across the board. It is double shielding, but you got to remember March 7th shielding is more of puts it on one target. Now you could do that and put it on the Fire Trailblazer and then have the Fire Trailblazer do it on the rest. But this is, uh, it's a little risky at times. It depends on how fast the flow is. This is not the best boss battling one. So what I would honestly do is sub out March 7th if you need healing and put Natasha back in there. That'll help you out a lot. All right, we got two left to go, and we are at our girl, Branya. And Branya is just, she's amazing. She she has a skill that moves people forward by 100%. She makes them do more damage. So if you have an elite DPS, like once again, Don Hung, or in this case, I'm actually just going to put Xu Sheng here. If she can move forward, Xu Sheng, do more damage, and you can wombo combo on Xu Sheng where you have skill, ultimate skill. Holy moly, are you going to do an absolute critical amount of damage? Now, there's two ways that we could build this team since you already have a support. One, you could put Natasha in there because you will still need healing and you will need some other support across the board. And then you could put Ting Yun. Now, I haven't put Ting Yun in a lot of these uh, these team comps because you may not have Ting Yun. You may not have Xu Sheng. So I, I don't want to build comps of characters you may not have. So, but if you have Ting Yun, do pair with Branya in a hyper carry DPS. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to take her out for now. Now, just remember that Xu Sheng can be replaced with Don Hung. It's just a placeholder um, for, for the way that works. Now, with Natasha and Branya not doing the most AoE, we have kind of all single target. This is where I'd plug in Serval again or plug in someone like Pela or Herda. Um, I wouldn't overly level Herda as of right now. Serval's a little bit better, but you do need to go get some free four-star uh, light cones for her, and you do need to beef her up. This is going to give you a nice gambit of damage across the board. And it's going to give you a really nice amount of damage with Branya buffing Xu Shang to be able to boss killer and take enemies down really, really quick. Finally, we have Yang Qing. And on my previous playthrough of the closed beta, Yang Qing is what I pulled. And I did enjoy Yang Qing, except for not really in the beginning of the game. So the way I would build for now until late game, and this is more of the a beginner uh, team building, is I would put Don Hung with them because you do need that, you do need that elemental synergy. And you do need that just burst damage. Yes, there's no AoE, but you, you don't need AoE per se. Um, so this is going to give you solid damage across the board where they go super, super fast. Uh, 8.2 actions per battle, 8.1 actions per battle. Absolutely amazing. And this is where I'd run Natasha and probably the Fire Trailblazer. A very stable team. A very, very good team. 
Obviously replace Don Hung with Xu Sheng if you do have it, but I would still run this combination. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Now, if you don't have the Fire Trailblazer yet, you can't put Asta in there temporarily. Make your team go even faster, but you gotta make sure that Natasha's got healing gear to the point that she can uh, keep up with the healing demand that's needed. Without having the shielder with Natasha, it becomes a little rough. So I like to go back to that previous comp right here, and it works out really, really well. Now, as my final two cents, before I let you go, there's a lot of characters that I didn't really cover here. Um, obviously, I didn't cover Herta. Uh, she's okay. Uh, she'll help you in the beginning, but she's not the greatest character in the world. Arlen is absolutely amazing, but he's got high risk, high reward. So I don't really suggest them for new players. You kind of have to know what you're doing. It's a skill, sacrifices his own HP, and HP can be kind of critical. We didn't really put Pela in there because you have to pull for Pela, but Pela is actually amazing, does a great amount of AoE DPS, and so does Sampo. Sampo does a great amount of AoE DPS as well. And then we didn't really cover uh, uh, Ching Chu. Um, I don't really suggest that you do Ching Chu for now. Just keep her on the bench until, until we figure out a little bit more of where she falls. And then Ting Yun, I covered a little bit. If you have Ting Yun, please use Ting Yun. And if you, especially if you have Xu Shang, just hyper carry the whole way through. It's going to get you all the way to the mid game and beyond, and you'll be perfectly great. And then finally, as a bonus tip for everyone looking for Zayla, we're just going to go ahead and cover it because we have it right now. If you put Zayla, she's a hyper carry, build hyper carry. You're going to have an additional five star. I'm going to just speed run great things right here. Do Ting Yun, do something like Natasha, right? Have a healer, shielder there and then run something like Branya. This is probably one of the best squads you could have right here. Zayla or Azila uh, is going to uh, absolutely dominate everything across the board. It's going to be absolutely nuts, absolutely crazy. Now you can do things like put Japard in there. Japard would be, a, or Bailu would be great to put with her. Japard would be great to put with her as well. Say we do Natasha and Japard, great team right there. You're going to keep that Zayla, uh, Zila alive absolutely amazing if you uh if you have bailu put bailu with her and then put her with maybe fire uh fire trailblazer keep her alive uh you could also do asta move her even faster than she already moves there's many different ways that you could slice it with her you could also put pela in there with this combination right here which gives you a great amount of sub dps a great amount of physical dps and you're off to the races with a great great comp all right, I know I can't cover every single spread and you probably have a combination that I didn't do here, but I think that gives you an idea of how we do team building. I have a whole video on team building as well. I know you're at the end of the video, so you may not be here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Come join us on the live stream where I'm answering questions live. We're also playing live. I also have a walkthroughs, tutorials, and a bunch of other guides on this game. I do appreciate you. If you can hit that like and subscribe once again, I'll see you out there and fist bump from me to you.